Good afternoon everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. In the last video, we have gone through the first of the sequence series called the Arithmetic Progression. Today, we are going to do the second part which is called the Geometric Progression, also called GP Sequences. So in a GP, the difference between one term and another is calculated by multiplying the previous term by the same number. In the AP, you add or subtract. In a GP, you multiply. And the difference is called the common ratio. This is represented by the letter R. R represents common ratio. And again, the first term of the GP as well as the AP, the first term is represented by the letter A. So, a is the first term, R is the common ratio. So again, it is found by taking the second term divided by the first term or the higher term divided by the term before it. For example, you take the fifth term, you divide by the fourth term, you will still get the ratio. And N is the number of terms required. And the first thing we're going to learn is to calculate the general term of a GP or the geometric sequences. And the formula, you have to remember them, is Tn equal to A multiplied by R bracket N minus 1. A is the first term, R is the ratio, N is the number of terms required. Okay, so remember that formula and we shall do some example. Okay, the first example looks similar to what we have done before. So now we are looking at find the tenth term of the sequence 2, 8, 32, 1, 2, 8, and so forth. So you are going to find the 10th term somewhere down the road here. So to do that, you are going to use the formula. So the first thing you do, you need to calculate the three unknown. So A is the first term. So in this case, A is 2. R is the common ratio. You can take 8 divided by 2, which gives you 4. You can also take 32 divided by 8, will give you 4. Or you take 128 divided by 32, is also 4. And if, since they ask you for the 10th term, your n equals to 10. So now, we are going to use the formula. The formula is given below. So based on that, so the formula is Tn equals to A multiplied by R n minus 1. So now we are looking for the 10th term. So T10, your A is replaced with 2. Your R is replaced by 4. And the bracket, the n is 10 minus 1. So the answer is going to be 10 minus 1. Simplify them. 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of 9. So the last step you're going to do, you are going to put in your calculator. I've done before that. So the answer you put in your calculator, 2 times 4 power 9. The answer comes out to 524,288. And that will give you an achieve in the geometric sequences. Easy? Great. We shall look at example two. Similar question, but different numbers. Okay, now, have a read. Find the seventh term of the sequence, 6, 12, 24, 48. Again, you find the first term. The first term is 6, so A is 6. The ratio, if you take the second term divided by first term, so 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2. 24 divided by 12 is also 2. 48 into 24 is also 2. So the ratio is 2. And the n, since they ask for the seventh term, your n equals to 7. So you are going to calculate the seventh term of the sequence somewhere around the road here. And we are going to use the formula. The formula is Tn equals to A multiplied by R bracket N minus 1. So we shall look at it. Okay, so your T7, because this is the seventh term, is going to be A, replace A with 6. R is 2, your N is 7, so 7 minus 1. Simplify them. 6 times 2, 7 minus 1 gives you 6. The last step you do, you are going to put in your calculator. Have a go. And the answer is 384. And that will also give you and achieve. Not too bad, right? Okay, now, just like your AP, you have to find the sum of the first n term. So, geometric sequence, the formula is dependent on the value of R, but if you stick to one, it's fine, but I would prefer to do two separate formula in case 
we dependent on the value of r. If r is more than 1, for example, r is 2, 3, 4, 5, or 8, or 10, or whatever, the formula, you put the r in front. So, fn, the sum, is a bracket r power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. However, if your r is less than 1, for example, r is 0 0.5 or r is 0 0.9, then I would prefer the r to be at smaller than 1. I'm going to put the r at the back. It's the same formula, just reshuffling it. So sum equal to a bracket a minus 1 minus r power n, close bracket, divide by 1 minus r. You swap these numbers around and that will be fine. So again, a is your first term, r is your common ratio, and n is the number of terms required. Okay, so we shall look at the formula and we shall look at the sum example now. Okay, so the question say, calculate the sum of the first n term. So now instead of finding the term, you are going to add all these terms for the first nine term and get the answer. So now let's go. Okay, so now again, you use a is 125. A is the first term is 125. R is found by taking the second term divided by first term or the third term divided by second term and so forth. So we shall do the second term divided by first term. 225 divided by 125, you put in the calculator, is 1.8. And your n, since they calculate the first n term, your n have to be 9. Since your r is greater than 1, we are going to use the first formula. The first formula looks like that. Sum equal to a, r n minus 1, divide by r minus 1. Okay, let's work it out now, okay? Okay, so now you want to find the sum of the first nine terms. So f9, the nine term. So your a replace 125. Your r is 1.8. Your n is the power of 9 minus 1. And then you divide by 1.8 minus 1. That's the denominator. Okay, now simplify them, 125, 1 1.8 to power 9 minus 1, divide by 1.8 minus 1 is going to be 0 0.8. Now you're going to put in your calculator, and if you were put in your calculator, the answer is going to be 30,837, and that will give you the next achieve in this paper. Okay, we shall do another example, then it should be all good. Okay, next one. The next one, the same question, different numbers. Calculate the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence 5, 10, 20, 40. You can see it's always increasing by double. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40. So your first term is again 5. Your ratio is 10 divided by 5, or 20 divided by 10 is going to be 2. And n, since the term is 10 term, so n has to be 10. Again, your ratio is more than 1. So we are going to use the formula 1. The formula 1 looks like this. So fn equal to a bracket rn minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So we're going to do it now. So s10, because we are looking at the 10th term, is going to be a. We replace a with 5. Your r is going to be 2. So 2 to the power of 10, n is 10 minus 1, and you divide that by 2 minus 1, because your r is 2 and minus 1. Simplify them, simplify them, it's going to be 5 bracket 2 to the power of 10 minus 1, 2 over 1 is going to be 1, and the last step, you're going to put in your calculator, and I've done it before, and the answer it come up to be 5,115. And again, that will give you an achieve. Okay, got the hang of it? Great. Now we're going to do the word problem. And that's A and B. That is what you're going to get in your internal. Okay, so the word problem looks like this. The production of a wheat farm is decreasing at a rate of 8% each year due to some salinity in the soil. In year one, the production was 660 ton. Calculate the production in year four. In manual form, you can calculate the first term is 660, and the next term is going to be 
0.92 because 8% less, so it's going to be 90.92 of 660. The answer is 607.2. And the third year or the third term is going to be 0.92 of this number and it comes up to 558.624. So now we are going to calculate them. So your A, your A is going to be your first term. A is going to be 660. Your R is going to be, the ratio is going to be 0 0.92. If you calculate this divided by that, it's going to be 0 0.92. And your N equal to 4 because N is the fourth year. So we are going to use that and we are continue now. Okay. So now we have calculated that before. So now we've seen that A is 660, R is 9.92 and R is n is 4 how you get r this divided by this or that divided by that that should give you 0 0.92 okay so now we have the formula to calculate the fourth term t4 is going to be a r so we're going to do that so a is going to replace using this formula a is 660 multiply by your r which is 0 0.92 and then you're going to take n minus 4 so 4 minus 1 N, N minus 1, not N minus 4, sorry, N minus 1, and then you're going to simplify them. It's going to be 660 times 0 0.92 to the power of 3. And of course, the last step, you're going to put in your calculator. This number in the calculator, exactly what you see there, and the answer is going to be 514 tons. And again, that will give you an achieve. Not too bad, right? Okay, last one, we're going to do the B, question B. The question B asks you, calculate the production, total production for year 1 to 10. So you're going to calculate the production as it goes down. You're going to add the number of production and the sum to the first N term. So again, your A is 660. Your ratio is the same, 607.2 divided by 660, 0 0.92. And your number of years, because year 1 to year 10 is going to be 10. And now, since your R value is smaller than 1, we are going to use the second formula. The second formula is A, sum, is equal to A, 1 minus Rn, divided by 1 minus R, since the ratio is less than 1. Okay, we do the calculation now. Okay, so now, S10, which is the 10th year, or the sum from 1 to 10, is going to be 1 minus R, which is 0 0.92, okay, and n is going to be 10 and you divide by 1 minus 0 0.92 okay so a forgot i forgot to put 660 here so 660 bracket okay 660 a 1 minus r n okay divide by 1 minus r okay now simplify them 660 bracket 1 minus 0 0.92 to the power 10 and then the denominator is going to be 0 0.08 and of course the last step you're going to put in your calculator and the answer i found it is going to be 466 tons if you round up to the nearest tons so that is all about geometric progression so if you can remember the formula for the AP, the sum and the nth term, as well as the GP, the sum and the term, you should get an easy achieve in this paper. Hope you learned something. Keep practicing. Put, learn how to put in your calculator and you should be all good for your internal. Cheers everyone.